for me. I thought uni, I thought not got the best grades. So I came through clearing. I saw UE92 as an option through parents and mates. Came for an open day, all my grades and things like that. And I was welcomed with open arms straight away. So it was really nice to see that someone actually saw me for me instead of me for just a set of grades on a piece of paper, which was perfect. Hello, I'm Ben Clarkson and I do physical education here at UA92. I went to a little primary school, just a local primary school, up until year three. And then after year three, I moved to another school, which provided me with just so many opportunities within sport and also having that freedom to go and do sport. So I was doing tennis before school. I'd have a lesson from seven till eight and then go to school nine till four and it'd get to the point where my English teacher would tell me off for being asleep in the last lesson. But it was all worth it because it did get me to the standard I wanted to be in tennis. Getting into Lancashire um, from a really young age, starting tennis at four. And then moving up into high school where you get your uh, high school tennis standards, you're playing against different schools from around the country. They'd take me down on coaches, playing tennis here, there and everywhere, giving me the opportunity. A big thing when I was younger, which is similar to a lot of people, you just want to try absolutely every sport possible. So, I mean, you name it, I've, I've probably give it a go knowing me. It's cricket, badminton, tennis, all that. In high school, it kicked in, exams started hitting. I had uh, end of year exams, which was pretty tough. Did take a toll on, on me mentally because I, with my parents, they were very pressuring to get those grades. And if I didn't get those grades, Ooh, no tennis, no tennis on that night. When I was young, I went through like, quite a lot of struggle with loss of family members and things like that. And obviously it's, it's not something you overcome. It's something that it does take time to heal. It never fully heal, but it takes time to heal. And actually realizing that whatever you're doing now, they're looking down on you and they're, they're seeing that you're actually achieving things and just making them proud, to be honest, is something that I'm probably the happiest about. I always had that vision of if you go to university, you get a degree, you get a, a good job if you get that degree. But lockdown completely changed my, my plan, my, my visions. During lockdown, I was working in a warehouse, uh, unloading boxes and things like that. And from doing that, I got into like quantity surveying and things like that. So I thought, possibly go down that route. I tried it for one day, it wasn't for me, I thought, uni, I thought, sugar, I've not, not got the best grace. So I came through clearing, came for an open day, came with all my leaflets, being a tennis coach, football, football referee, all my grades and things like that. And I was welcomed with open arms near enough straight away. And so it was uh, really nice to see that someone actually saw me for me instead of me for just a set of grades on a piece of paper, which was perfect. I always had the vision that university was just, you sit in a big hall, you just stare at a lecturer all day, you might write a couple of notes. I always thought it's, it's not for me, I'd rather be in a, a classroom environment like they offer at UA92 because it's more one-to-one, -one. the teacher actually gets to know you instead of a lecturer who doesn't even know your name after three years. It's much better having that one-to-one -one and actually being treated with like some form of respect, more as a like someone who's pretty equal to you instead of being someone who's lower down to you. I just found that really nice when coming to UA92. The big thing was having no exams. That, that was a pretty huge thing because I, I just hate being based off one exam at the end of that. Because like, I had the experience of end of year tests in schools that obviously formed my attainment grades and things like that, which my parents would see and they'd moan at that and stuff like that, which is fair enough. But I always used to do well in like, the test throughout the year. And as soon as it comes to a test that's on everything, I just completely fall apart completely fall apart so I like those little interval tests like they do here so you've got your essays your presentations so much uh, better placed for me I can't fault it it's been absolutely amazing I've met friends girlfriends everything I could have asked for really couldn't have asked for a better university experience so I'm trying to knuckle down now in second year go partying every now and then so I feel like UA92 uh, as a whole has welcomed me really well with the freshers' events, meeting a lot of mates, even meeting lecturers when I've come in and they're, they're, they're asking, oh, how's your week gone? Just that little thing's just so much better than just walking into a lecture hall and just sitting there with your laptop open and stuff like that. So, yeah, I've just really enjoyed coming here so far. 
Being an AM student, so a 9 to 1 student, helped me so much as a lot of coaching is after is in the afternoon because kids finish school at half three, three, four. And it's just it's a lot easier to go and commute back up from one o'clock, get back home, get a little nibble to eat. It just allows me to have a lot more freedom with that nine to one. And then um, managing with the coaching, I'd say UA92 helps so much with that with doing presentations, things like that. it just boosts your confidence. So it just makes it a lot easier to be a coach. In the future, I, I, I want to take the same woman's footsteps, but I want to go into teaching, a uh, P teacher. I think that's, that's the one for me. I'm confident. I like teaching, I do like it. It's just something that I've always thought would be quite nice to do, you know, helping other people. That's, that's what I want to go into.